Hi, it's Park Madden with the Weather Store in Sandwich, Massachusetts. Uh, today we're going to talk about a piece that's a little bit more of an unusual uh, weather instrument. It's called a uh, Cape Cod weather glass or sometimes known as a storm glass or just simply a weather glass. It is in essence a barometer. It's a barometer that is essentially made of glass with just a little bit of water or colored liquid in it. I like blue because I think it's a little easier to read. So these actually go back a, a long time. There, there's a history of these maybe being invented a, you know, three, four, maybe 500 years ago. No one really knows exactly who invented these, but um, the principle behind them is that when you fill this with water, you in essence trap a bit of air in here, okay? And so then if there's an air pressure in here and the air pressure around it changes, the water is gonna get forced up through here. So I filled this the other day and it was higher pressure than it is now. And we're kind of getting some, you can't see it, but we're kind of have some rain and overcast uh, skies. It's certainly lower pressure and the water has begun to come up. If the pressure gets low enough, it will actually come up the spout and overflow. And that's why there's usually like a little uh, bin right here that can hold the, the drips, the drops. Um, this particular model, it's kind of fully round, but you will see them at times have more of a flatter back and then maybe with like a metal or a brass bracket. The nice thing about these is that they're really simple to use. Kids love them. Uh, they're very visual. Now you can't get a measurement of barometric pressure out of this, but you can by observing the water in the spout. So if this were to drop back down, you know we have higher pressure because the pressure would be higher than this. There is one uh, caveat to this, is that they are affected by temperature. So if it begins to warm up in here, um, the air and the water that's inside this cavity will begin to expand and it'll put water out. And conversely, if it gets colder. So with all that said, I find that these work best in rooms where the temperature doesn't change that much. And then you would just use a lot of the other common advice about uh, common sense about where to hang it, put in a spot where you're less likely to bump into it, especially don't put into a window because it's gonna get warmed up by the sun. Uh, but again, these are fun pieces. They typically don't cost that much. When I've had it in the store, they're typically between 50 and $100. I even have a guy here in Sandwich that makes them out of glass, which is really nice. Those are more expensive because they're hand blown and colorful. Uh, however, uh, they are a nice piece. Uh, I do still see them in Cape Cod homes here on the Cape. Um, they're an old traditional instrument. Uh, they're very visual. Again, you can fill them with any color you like. I just like the blue. I think it looks clean that way. So I've had them in these stores for years. There are even some antique models that you can find on occasion. Uh, and th those can go for a significant amount of money. They sometimes have little beads of glass uh, blown around them, but it's a pretty simple concept. Oh, I should tell you how to fill them. Uh, they do, uh, there's only really one way to fill this and everything's gotta go in through this spout right here. I'm gonna lift this off so you can see it a little bit closer. So when you look at this, you see that's a spout. That is just a little opening there. When I fill these, I put them into a sink and I kind of tilt them on their side. You can see that as I'm tilting it, it's re-equalizing with pressure. I just have a, a faucet dripping down and it comes in. And the water comes and it spills, so it's best to do it in, 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 the, um, in the sink. That's what I'm looking for. You do it in the sink and the water will overflow, but it is, uh, I've even used a plant sprayer on a fine stream, just put it right up the end and just kind of force that water in. You want to fill it up so that it's about halfway uh, of the volume inside. And there's no exact amount that you should or shouldn't fill, but I find that if they're overflowing a lot, it's because there's the ratio of air to water is too high. So you can kind of see where they come together, where the spout meets it here. If I like to come up at, at least an inch above that, and I find that that will be a better ratio of air to water. So again, if there's too much air in there, it's gonna make this thing go up and down a lot. It's like an engine expanding and contracting. So if you find it's overflowing a lot, put more water in, which sounds counterintuitive, but it is the way that works. Anyway, Cape Cod weather glass, storm glass, thunder glass, whatever you wanna call it. 
uh, here at the Weather Store. And if you have any further questions about them, uh, please feel free to give me a call or stop by, visit our website, or put some comments into the, into the section down below. Thanks again for watching.